I'm Erica. Saul, also called Paul, was absolutely certain that God wanted him to stamp out the new church. In fact, Saul got special permission from the high priest to travel 150 miles to Damascus to arrest the Jesus followers there. But as Saul approached Damascus, a light from heaven blazed around him and the voice of Jesus spoke, telling Saul to go into the city and wait. In an instant, Saul's world turned upside down. When Saul stood up, he discovered he was blind. His fellow travelers led him into Damascus to the home of a man named Judas. For three days, Saul prayed and didn't eat or drink anything. Meanwhile, word that Saul was coming to arrest Jesus' followers had spread throughout the town. The new believers, including a man named Ananias, were filled with fear, unsure what would happen to them. As Ananias paced the floor waiting for news, the Lord called out to him in a vision. Ananias. Yes, Lord? Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street. Ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is praying. In a vision, Saul has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him. In the vision, Ananias placed his hands on Saul so he could see again. Whoa, slow down! What? Saul had come to Damascus to arrest believers and maybe even sentence them to die. Saul was the enemy, the bad guy. And yet, God was asking Ananias to go and find him and help him? You can bet Ananias was looking for a way out. Lord, I've heard many reports about this man. They say he has done great harm to your holy people in Jerusalem. Now he has come here to arrest all those who worship you. The chief priests have given him authority to do this. Go. I have chosen this man to work for me. He will announce my name to the Gentiles and to their kings. He will also announce my name to the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for me. Whoa! Only God could create such an amazing plan to take the greatest enemy of Jesus and turn him into the most loyal follower. Whatever Ananias thought or felt about it, he chose to trust God with his fears. Ananias went directly to Straight Street and the home of Judas. Sure enough, Ananias found Saul in prayer, unable to see anything. Who's there? Ananias had one last chance to turn and run, but he remembered that God's spirit was there to help him. So Ananias placed his hands on Saul's shoulders. Brother Saul, you saw the Lord Jesus. He appeared to you on the road as you were coming here. He has sent me so that you will be able to see again. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Right away, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes. I can see. I bet Ananias was equally excited and terrified. God had just done an incredible miracle, but there was no telling what Saul would do now. I want to be baptized. What? Please, baptize me now, in Jesus' name. Right then and there, Saul was baptized. After eating some food, he joined the other Jesus followers in Damascus and even started preaching in the synagogues. Jesus is God's son. He's the one God has sent to save us all. Everyone who heard Saul preach was shocked. Isn't this the man who caused so much trouble for the Jesus followers in Jerusalem? I thought he came here to take prisoners. Saul continued to speak about Jesus with power and authority. He quickly gained loyal friends among the Jesus followers. But other Jewish people were so upset, they made plans to get rid of him. Brother Saul, they are planning to kill you. Saul wouldn't let even fear of death stop him. I won't quit. I have to keep teaching about Jesus. You can go to Jerusalem and join the believers there. All right. I'll leave tonight. They're watching all the city gates. We have to get you out another way. Saul's friends smuggled him out of the city by lowering him through a window in a giant basket. 
When Saul was safely out of Damascus, he made the long trip back to Jerusalem, where he had arrested so many Jesus followers. You can imagine what happened when he tried to join the believers there. Yeah, they were terrified. But a man named Barnabas had heard about Saul's meetings with Jesus. He believed that Saul had truly changed. So he took Saul to meet with the leaders of the new church. Jesus spoke to Saul. I believe it. Saul stayed with the believers in Damascus and preached in Jesus' name. All right. We believe you. I never thought I'd say this, but welcome, Saul. Saul preached fearlessly about Jesus all over Jerusalem. And once again, some Jewish people made plans to get rid of him. Saul's friends helped him escape the city and traveled to his hometown of Tarsus. There, Saul spent time growing closer to Jesus. And meanwhile, the new church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace and continued to grow with the help of God's Holy Spirit. The 